Hello everyone, welcome to Liu Salon operated by Fanny and Adair. In computer graphics, rendering realistic hair is critical for making believable characters. There are quite a few existing physically based methods, but they are difficult to use in a creative environment because the physically based parameters are unintuitive and interconnected. But with our system, an artist will be able to directly control visual components of hair shading. We use NURBS curves to represent the hair geometry, so any user can simply create NURBS curves in Maya and attach our artist-friendly hair shaders to them. Users may also generate NURBS curves by loading a binary hair file using our tool. We mainly based our technical approach on the 2010 SIGGRAPH paper, An Artist-Friendly Hair Shading System. Um, this paper surveyed artists at Disney Animation in order to define artist-friendly controls and what parts of the hair shading do artists want to be able to edit. This include um, highlights, glints, rim light when hair is backlit, as well as diffuse color. We implemented this with Maria, ISL, and 3D Light. 3D Light is an open source third party software that we use it in order to use RenderMan with Maya. We will now present the results of our hair shading system. For the following sets of results, the light position is behind and above the head. All of the results build on top of the diffuse term, the base color for the hair as shown in the left image. The image on the right is the result of adding primary and secondary highlights. Primary highlights are the brightest highlights on hair when hair is lit. The AFC is defined for the primary highlights include the primary highlight color, intensity, longitudinal width, and shift. Here you can see that an increase in intensity makes the primary highlight much brighter. A decrease in longitudinal shift pushes the highlight down the hair strands toward the tips. Width increase simply increases the width of the highlight longitudinally across the hair strands. You can also change the color of the highlight. The secondary highlight is the lighter highlight of hair when it's lit. The color tends to be closer to the hair diffuse color. Like for the primary highlight, artists can edit the secondary highlight color, intensity, longitudinal, shift, and width. The backlit rim is the highlight on hair when it's backlit. Controls for this rim light include color intensity, longitudinal, shift in width, and azimuthal width. For better viewing, the diffuse intensity has also been decreased. For the rim light examples, the light is in front of and above the character. Azimuthal width is a horizontal width across hair strands. So you can see here that the increase in degree to 70 stretches the highlight across the edge of the hair. Here you can see all the components of hair added up to make the final hair render. One other feature of our tool is the editability of grids. However, this is a very subtle feature that may be hard to pick out in different lighting situations. We will now demonstrate our tool in Maya. In Maya, make sure you have both 3 Delight and Loose Salon plugins loaded. You can either create hair geometry by creating a bunch of nerves curves, or you can go to our Loose Salon menu and go to Create Hair Model, um, which will allow you to input a hair file. So say I wanted to put in 10 strands, so here are the 10 strands from that file. Um, but this uh, file in particular can actually go up to 10,000, so we're going to do 10,000. So now we have our hair model loaded, and we can add uh, lights to the scene. So let's just add a point light, move that up, and then we can assign our hair shader to it. So the way you do this is you select all your lights, um, and then you control select your um, hair model, which is in this transform group, and then go to assign new salon shader. So that'll open up a dialog where you can select the hair shader file, which is here, single scattering. Um, and that creates uh, this shader node here, which allows you to edit the different parameters of hair. So um, we can actually just, let's just go to the back of the hair. and let's 
So we can just render, make sure we, we're on 3 to light for the render view. And let's just click render. And that's it. So that took about a minute to render. Um, if you notice, we also set the diffuse um, intensity and colors and edit as you wish. Uh, so that's Lucilon. Thank you for watching.